Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, today is the last day of this is um, of this course. Um, it was a really good time with this group, so um, it's really really uh, happy, or I am really happy that is um, the end of the this course because I think it is something um, uh, that you can uh, remember because of the of the topics, and it is something that you will. Um, use in your daily life or in the future because you are uh, learning something um, about uh, English. So uh, congratulations for everyone to ending uh, this uh, course. And I think you are going to um, begin another one in some time. So something that you want to say. Before we are going to start with the with the topic, mm, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So in that case, really, I am very happy because uh, 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 till this day we have been with you. So uh, I believe I have learned uh, several things, several topics. Uh, for example, I like the topic uh, we're going to uh, will, uh, want, uh, the expression want, I like, <laughs> I want, <laughs> really. Um, and, and there's a topic that, that is um, uh, a little difficult for me. For example, the, uh, uh, the suffix. Mm -hmm. suffix. The, suffix. Uh, the, the suffix uh but i believe that we had to practice uh, uh, a little more okay teacher yeah thank you yes okay um i think <laughs> okay <laughs> it is uh, uh really good to understand the topics that we like and we find a very easy to understand and then uh, we have some topics that are hard for us and in this case it's the suffix you already know that they exist so you have to keep practicing use the suffix and the uh, prefixes that is the contrary of the suffix but you already know and when you are going to study again that topic you have some information about them so you have to keep practicing and you are really, really, really good with English. So it is a very uh, interesting working with you. Someone okay. else, or we are going to end the activity that we were uh, performing yesterday at the end of the class. Okay, I think you want to uh, share your sentences with the uh, the group because yesterday we were talking about um, future and actions that we are going to perform in different times in our future. And we have here in the screen the um, the times or the um, or this is this uh, little um, difference in time. So let me see this we have the um in the topic we were talking about uh future and the uses of future and also we um were making some um things uh, we were talking about going to again will then we uh, talked about shawl and uh, the activity um so just few of you um, read the sentences. Now, I think it's time to share the sentence with the group. So if you want to read it, it is your time. Oh my God.
Ok, alguien que quiera compartir sus oraciones eh, de la actividad de ayer. Mi teacher. Tell me, Reina. Number one. I will be eating dinner in five minutes. Number two. I will be drawing in my artist class in two hours. Three. Um, I won't be begging in my house at 9 p.m. It's correct the sentence, teacher. You say I won't be. You, you won't be him. Mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Okay. But in this case, um, you won't. Tú quieres decir que no vas a estar en tu casa a esa hora. Es correcto. Ok. I won't be staying in my house at ah, 9 okay. p.m. No te vas a quedar, no vas a estar en, en uh -huh. ese lugar. So it's better to say staying. Staying. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Number four. I will be driving my car this time tomorrow. Okay. Number five, I won't be swimming on Saturday morning. Okay. Six, he will be watching the movie the next Friday. Okay. Seven, we will be find, finding on mom's house in two weeks. Okay. Eight, they will be going to depart the next month. Okay. And the last one, I won't be wearing the red sweater at midnight on New Year's Eve. Okay, good. Thank you. Someone else? Me, <laughs> okay, I have to first Edith, then Roberto. Okay. Okay. Um, number one, I'll be making a sentence in five minutes. Okay. Number two, I be sleeping <clears throat> in two hours. Okay. Number three, I I'll be working in the platform. Uh, at 9 p.m. Okay. Uh, number four, I'll be receiving class at this time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, I'll be working in the office on Saturday morning. Okay. Number six, I'll be watching a movie next Friday. Good. Number seven, I'll be studying the course intermediate two in two weeks. Okay. I'll be working the next month. Mm -hmm. And the last, I'll be eating turkey at midnight on New Year's Eve. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Roberto, it's your time. Okay. Uh, number one, I'll be having a dinner in five minutes. Okay. Number two, I'll be sleeping in two hours. Good. Number three, I'll be watching a TV series at 9 p.m. Okay. Number four, I'll be playing football this time tomorrow. Okay. Number five, I'll be playing the guitar on Saturday morning. Number six, I'll be reading a new book next Friday. Okay. Number seven, I'll be visiting Aguachapan in two weeks. Okay. Number eight, I'll be visiting my grandmother next month. And number nine, I'll be sharing time with my family at midnight on New Year's Eve. Okay, excellent, thank you. someone else or we um, are going to continue with the last um, structures of the future to end this 
course with the future. Mi teacher. Okay, Diana. Um, I will be brushing my teeth in five minutes. I will I will be sleeping in hours. Mm -hmm. I will be finishing class at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. I will be watching movie this time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I will be cleaning my house on Saturday morning. <laughs> Good. I will be playing soccer next Friday. Mm -hmm. I will be going budget book in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I will be starting for an exam next month. Mm -hmm. And I will be eating at midnight on New York's TV. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay. We are going to end this uh, course and this week with the future. We are going to complete the future with the structures we use to talk about actions in the future. So yesterday we were talking about, let me see, the future tense and we have four, right? We have four uh, tenses in future, that is future simple, future continuous, and future perfect. Also, we have the future perfect continuous. Yesterday, we were talking about future simple, that is the use of will that we um, already study. Also, we were talking about future continuous, that is the, um, this activity is part of that topic. In the future simple, we use only the structure subject plus will plus a verb in infinity form without to and the complement. And in the future continuous, we use the structure subject plus will plus be plus the verb with the ing form plus the complement. Now we are going to talk about another of the um, the structures or tenses of future. And this is the number three. We have the future perfect. That's the number three of the future tenses. It says that um, the future perfect is used to talk about a complete action in the future. The future simple and the future continuous talk about actions that uh, begin in the present or are going to uh, start in the future. But in this case, it, um, it talk about the actions that are completed in the future. So it is used to talk about a completed action in the future. And we have the form. Number one, the form of future perfect is will or want plus have plus plus participle. Again, we are using the past participle of the verbs. We already have the verbs in our a WhatsApp group in which we can uh, use this um, list of verbs to create sentences in a future. It says the form number two, regular past participles. This is just for remembering. 
and in ed. Then irregular. Okay, it says that the regular past participle and in ED, then the irregular past participle don't follow the common conjugation pattern. Um, con esta forma del futuro, that is the future perfect, estamos hablando de acciones que se completan en el futuro. O sea, no son acciones a medias, son acciones que se completan en el futuro. Y utilizamos, ¿verdad?, los verbos eh, del de pasado participio de la lista de verbos que los regulares, we already eh, studied that, que los verbos regulares terminan en ed, but the irregular past participle when or don't follow the common conjugation. ¿Por qué? Porque ya no terminan en ed, sino que cambian su forma. So, we have some examples. We have the positive that it says, you will have finished. Then we have the negative, you won't have finished. Then we have the question, will I have finished? So in the case of the question, we have that we also use the same structure for questions in which we have the, uh, the auxiliary at the beginning of the question that is will, then the subject, then have, and then the verb in past participle. So it's, it is not something really complicated to understand because it, it follows the same structure as in the other, um, in the other tenses. So that's um, something we have managed right now. So, in this case, when we are talking about um, completed actions, in this sentence, you will have finished, es tú habrás terminado. Something do you have finished in the future. So, then we have the uses of this tense. It says the, the first one, an action, that will be before a specific time in the future. It says an action that will be completed before a specific time in the future. And we have an example. Next September, next September, we will Next September, we will have been married for 15 years. So in some time in the future, a, an action is completed. El próximo septiembre, vamos a cumplir o estaremos cumpliendo 50 años de casados. Then we have another use or we have another form. Then it says, 
used by or by the time to mean sometime before. And we have an example. I'll have finished this report by the time you are home. In the second one, it says, use by or by the time this, uh, this one and this one. To mean some time before. It says, I will have finished this report by the time you are home. Voy a terminar o habré terminado este reporte cuando llegues a casa. So in this case, we are going to um, work in something and we have a specific time to end this work. Number three, use in, in a day's time, in two weeks, in two weeks time, in three months time, et cetera. And we have the example. Ah, to mean at the end of this period. So in the example we have in three years time, I will have completed my degree. Okay, so in the number three, we have use in, in a day's time, in two weeks time, in three months time, etc. to mean at the end of this period, al final de este periodo de tiempo. So in the example we have in three years time, I will have completed my degree. This is about a actions that we are uh, performing right now and we have a specific time to end it. So in this case, we know that in the future we are going to uh, finish this action and it is something that we are really, really um, secure that it's going to happen. So in this case, we are going to make like um, a prediction, but in this case, it is a prediction based on uh, evidences because we have uh, a plan that we are going to end our degree in three years time. So, para este eh, tiempo, ¿verdad? Tenemos tres eh, formas. La primera, que es una acción que va a ser completada después de un eh, tiempo específico en el futuro. Luego, utilizamos by or by the time para hablar de algún tiempo después. Y el último, usamos in, in a day's time, in two weeks' time, in three months' time, para eh, hablar del final de un periodo de tiempo. So in this case, the uh, future perfect is about ended or completed actions in the future. Then we have the last one. That is the number four. This is a future perfect continuous. We have the structure number four for the future. And this one, it's about, it says that we use the future perfect continuous. 
continues to show that something Okay, it says that we use the future perfect continuous to show that something will continue up until a particular event in the future. We normally use it to emphasize how long something will have been happening for. En el, en el futuro perfecto continuo, vamos a utilizarlo para mostrar que algo va a continuar en el futuro hasta que suceda un evento particular. Normalmente lo utilizamos para hacer énfasis de eh, cuánto tiempo, ¿verdad? O en cuán largo ha sido el tiempo en el que ha estado sucediendo esa acción. So, we have the form. And it says, the form of the future continues is will or one. Plus have, plus being, I mean being, plus ing form of the verb in present participle. So this is the structure. And then we have some sentences, positive. And we have the example. I will have been driving. Then the negative. I want have been driving. And we have the question. Will I have been driving? Then we have the uses. We have the number one, to show that something will continue up until a particular event in the future. And we have the example. In October, I will have been working here for 10 years. And number two, to show something finish just before another time action. And it is uh, talking about cows in effect. And we have the example. When I arrive, I 
I will have been working all day, so I will be tired. Then we have the last one with the time expression. And we have a by plus then tomorrow, next year. An example about the time okay. It says to show that something will continue up until a particular event in the future. Estamos hablando de que eh, algo va a continuar eh, hasta que pase otro evento en el futuro que lo cambie. In October, I will have been working here for 10 years. Voy a tra em, en octubre, voy a haber trabajado eh, aquí por 10 años. And the number two, to show something finished just before another time action, cause and effect. Estamos hablando de la causa y el efecto, algo que sucede por otra acción que ha pasado. When I arrive, I will have been working all day, so I will be tired. Cuando llegue, eh, habré trabajado todo el día, así que voy a estar cansado. And the last one, with time expression, by then, tomorrow, next year con expresiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Que hay expresiones que nos eh, dan la pauta para saber en qué momento se realiza la acción. By the time we arrive, para el momento en el que lleguemos, we will have been traveling for 15 hours. Habremos estado viajando por 15 horas. So, I'm going to send you um, an image to the WhatsApp group because we are going to do an activity. And I need to send you that image in the group because um, it, it, it's better to send the image to the group. Then you are going to look at um, five photos. We have five photos in the image of people with different professions. Then you are going to write some sentences using the future perfect continuous to describe what they will have been doing for hours in today's work shift. So, tenemos eh, cinco imágenes de personas con diferentes eh, profesiones. Eh, ustedes van a escribir unas oraciones utilizando el futuro perfecto continuo para describir que habían estado haciendo ellos eh, en su eh, trabajo. Así que eh, el tiempo son cuatro horas. Cuatro horas de trabajo que ellos han tenido. So, you are going to write sentences about that work shift. Ese, ese, um, how can I say, um, el turno. It's for four hours. So we have an example, they will have been cooking for four hours. Habían estado o, eh, cocinando por cuatro horas. So I'm going to stop this. And I will send you the image. Or in this case, I am going to send you the image right now. So let me see. I need the image to send you to the group. Okay, I have the image right here. And you are going to uh, 
see five different photos of uh, different professions and you are going to write the sentence using the uh, perfect continuous, the feature perfect continuous. So let me send the message. Just give me one moment, please. Okay, we have the image in the group. So you can see the photos and, and then you are going to write your sentence. And when you have your sentences, we are going to read all of them. So you have time to read, to write your sentences uh, with these uh, photos. Remember, you are going to write the um, structure for the uh, future perfect continuous. And I'm going to Share the screen again. So you by looking the structure like this. We have here the examples. So you are going to make sentences like this in the positive or negative for each of the images.
Excuse me, teacher. Tell me. How many sentences uh, we will make? One for each photo. One In this each. case, five sentences. Thank you. I finish. Okay. We are going to give some more minutes for your pardons to uh, end the sentence. And then you are going to begin in, uh, reading uh, your sentence.
Okay, let's begin with the sentences. Patricia, please. Okay, the first one. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the police officer have been taking care of the city during, during four hours. Good. The doctor will have been attending a lot of people in the last four hours. Good. The English teacher will have been teaching English for about four hours. Good. The chef will have been cooking a lot of foods in the kitchen for almost four hours. Good. The footballer will have been playing soccer for more than four hours. Excellent. Thank you. Y segunda negativa. Okay. Pero no sé si está bien. The players won't have been winning the first prize at the competition. Mm, it is good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank, thank you. Someone else. You're welcome. Me. Me, teacher. Oh my God, let me see. Oh. <laughs> Azucena first, then Elizabeth. Okay, thank you, teacher. Number one. The police officer has been working all day long, so he will be exhausted. Number two, when her coworker arrives, she will have been attending too much patients. I don't know okay. how to pronounce that. Patient. 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 Number three, <clears throat> by the time we finish, the teacher will have been studying for one hour. Number four, in March, the chef will have been finishing the cooking course. Okay. And last one, um, in 90 minutes, we will have been knowing the winner of the game. Okay, okay, thank you. Excellent job. Thank Elizabeth. You. Okay, uh, the first one, the police officer will have been driving for four hours. Okay. Number two, the doctor will have been operating for four hours. Mm -hmm. um, the teacher will have been recording the class video for four hours. Okay. And next, and the chef will have be cooking dessert for the four hours for the graduation. Mm -hmm. And the finish, uh, the football team will have. We will be in training for four hours before the game. Okay, excellent. Next one. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, teacher. Tell me, Reina. The police office uh, will have been working for four hours. The doctor will have been working in the hospital for four hours. Mm -hmm. And the English teacher will have been speaking in the class for four hours. Um, the chef will have been cooking for four hours. And the mm -hmm. footballer. Uh, one had been playing for four hours. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Someone else? Me, teacher. Tell me, Roberto. Uh, number one, the police officer will have been doing report for four hours. Mm -hmm. Number two, the doctor won't have been relaxing for four hours. Okay. Number three, the teacher will have been teaching English for four hours. Number four, the chefs will have been cooking a bake for four hours. Okay. And number five, the footballers will have been training for four hours. Okay, excellent. Someone else? Mm 
me teacher tell me amilcar um, i don't know if in my sentence are good okay but, okay. Read it. okay and number one he is a police office he will have been working in two weeks okay uh, number two she is a doctor she will have been working for a day okay number three um, he is an English teacher. He will have been teaching for eight hours. Okay. Uh, number four, uh, they are chefs. Uh, they will have been working in a restaurant in three months. Okay. And uh, the last one, uh, they are they are football footballer. Mm -hmm. They will have been playing at the end of this period. Okay, they are very okay. good. Your sentence are very, very good. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Someone else? Me, teacher. Tell me, Edith. Um, the police officer will have been put in, um, I don't know, how do you say, multas? Uh, tips. Uh, tips uh, for four hours. Uh, mm -hmm. The doctor will have been attending patients for four hours. Uh, mm -hmm. The English teacher will have been teaching some for some student for four hours. Um, the chef will have been cooking cakes for the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the footballer will have been playing with the best group of football. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. It's almost time to end. Someone else that wants to share the sentence. I think not. So, um, before ending the session, because we have some minutes to um, to go, um, I want to say something. Um, you know that today is the last day of this uh, module. So, if okay. you have not uh, ended the work in the platform, you have until midnight today to finish your work. You know that you have to be, or you have to have, in this case, the 88% of your um, work done, because it is a very important that you work in the platform. And if you have not end the work, you can do it tonight, because you have time until midnight. Para los que no han terminado en la plataforma o no llevan el 80% de, eh, de las actividades, tienen hasta la medianoche de hoy para terminarlo. La mayoría sé que ya lo terminaron y es excelente por, por ustedes porque ya terminaron su trabajo and you are ready for the next course. Um, then, uh, another thing, I will send you this document like always. Um, at the end of the, the week, I am sending and the document with the information that we that you need in this case eh, about the tenses, and I am going to send you eh, extra information about eh, other um, tenses because yesterday I was saying that we are going to um, making a review of a present tense and a past tense, but you can see that we don't have any time left. So I'm going to add the information to the document and I will send you tonight because it is important that you have information about uh, topics in English that we can use in the future. So uh, this is the last day. This is the last week of this course. Congratulations for everyone that end this course and that have um, end the work in the platform. 
You are an excellent group. It was um, a really, really good time with you. So I want to say thank you for your time and for the opportunity to um, teach you something. I hope you have learned something useful for the future. And I hope you have a very, very lucky time in your next uh, course. So thank you for everything. And uh, I hope you have a good time. So it's time to say goodbye. Gracias a todos por el tiempo. Espero que la pasen muy bien en el próximo curso y que aprendan muchas cosas nuevas. Eh, agradecerles nada más por la paciencia y el tiempo que ustedes eh, me han regalado para este curso. Así que muchas gracias. Nos vamos a despedir. Luego les mando el documento y suerte en sus próximos cursos y en sus proyectos. Así que just saying goodbye and good night for everyone. Eh, gracias, teacher. Muy amable. Nada. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, You're welcome, teacher. I really enjoyed your Good night bye -bye. and good have night. a good night. Bye-bye. 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 B